We're introducing paid leave for new grandparents. It's an effort to hold on to older workers or keep them from retiring. Granternity leave is a relatively new idea. It allows people time off, similar to maternity or paternity leave, to help care for a grandchild. Here in the U.S., people over age 50 make up one-third of the workforce. And according to AARP, that number is only going up. The labor force made up of people age 75 or older is expected to nearly double in the next decade. All right, number eight, I don't need to tell all of you, but frog boots are having a moment. Oh. You know, they were big in the 80s and 90s, as seen on young princes William and Harry, and they are all over Fashion Week right now. Back in January, UK label J.W. Anderson introduced a new line of Welly Pets frog clogs. They're part stylish, part whimsical, and all the cool kids in London are wearing them. Uh, which means the cool kids here in the States should be soon to follow. <laughs> Here's the thing, they're not cheap. Frog boots are selling for 500 bucks a pair, but as Paul always says, you can't put a price on fashion. They come in three colors, green, yellow, and blue. And don't worry, we did our research. We found some dupes online for like 30 bucks. There you go. All right, number seven, it's always nice to dream, so check out the penthouse of the skies. The Dassault Falcon 10X is on display at the Paris Air Show. It's not due to go into service until 2025. But here's what $75 million gets you. The cabin ceiling is six feet, eight inches tall. It comes complete with a full bathroom, bedroom, and a kitchen. And don't let all the fancy stuff fool you. This jet can hang with the best of them, topping out at 710 miles per hour. Mm. Mm. And no room for any guests. It's just you all by yourself, it looks like. Huh? <laughs> Sounds nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, number six, a follow-up to yesterday's story about Uno. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. The draw four rule. Okay. Okay. Uh, our producers did some research. A little while back, the game's creators clarified the draw four rules on Twitter. According to the official Uno law book, if someone puts down a plus four card, like a draw four, you must draw four and your turn is skipped. And stacking is not allowed. You can't put your draw four on top of another draw four so the next person draws eight if they don't have one of those cards. Get it? So you're passing it along to the next person? Just say yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> However, more serious <laughs> hardcore players do sometimes bend those rules. Uh, I, I'm still going to stick with the way we do it. It's more you're fun. You're a serious yeah. hardcore mm. player. Well, yeah. Funny. I mean, it makes it fun. You know, the, Larry could end up drawing 16 cards, and he'd be out of the out of the game completely. Oh, you'd I mean, like that, wouldn't I you? I sure would like that. <laughs> Let's get ugly. Tell you. <laughs> I'm really rethinking that dinner party <laughs> she's playing. Notice you didn't get an invite yet because I haven't really decided if I want to go through Mom. all that work. Oh. All right, everybody, it's part cheesy time. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. God, look at the time. Six forty-five already. Don't make me laugh. It hurts my shoulder. Sorry, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Number five. Fanny packs aren't just for tourists or grandmas. They're making a comeback. It's all thanks to Gen Z and millennial shoppers. Yes. According to a recent report on consumer behavior, 18 to 34 age shoppers are buying fewer handbags. They want stuff they can wear, and that's why there's a 56% jump in fanny pack sales. We call them belt bags, Larry. Oh, I call them crotch pockets. <laughs> you might get fired now. The, kid, the, kids, the kids want quick, comfortable, uh, convenient, and there's the Lululemon pack. That's what you call a crotch pocket. <laughs> you know what you call totally a different story, Larry. Wants a Lululemon crossbody bag or fanny pack or well, crotch pocket. Well, see, you pocket. don't wear it like no, across your waist. You wear, right you wear it across. Your yes. body, oh, cross no. body. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it's not in no, that area. It's not there. You, you wear it, or you want to wear it? <laughs> here, I actually. wear it. I want to wear it. <laughs> Whatever, Larry. Yeah. You want people to wear it mm -hmm. somewhere? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Number four, there's a reason why Robin hates the word moist so much. <laughs> and it's not her fault. There's some science behind it. Some psychologists in Ohio did some research. According to their report, it's less about the way the word sounds and more about what it represents. Most people associate the word moist with bodily functions, and that's what turns them off. But words like 
foist or rejoice, <laughs> those don't bother anyone. And here's another interesting thing about the study. Yeah. There's nothing interesting. It, it's exactly why I knew people yeah. didn't like the word. Right. The more neurotic people were, the more likely they were to dislike the word moist. There you go. <laughs> By the way, this is our WGN Moist File video. Oh, it's no nice. big shout out to Sabo and well the gang done. for getting this moist video. No, <laughs> no bodily functions in the video. that I would have chosen, but pretty good. Oh, that cake looks good. Yeah. yeah. Good and moist. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say it. Number three, people are combining Coca-Cola and Dove soap as a way to banish fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, the trend's all over TikTok, by the way. People claim the mixture helps with wrinkles on their forehead, diminishes blackheads and pimples, what? opens pores, too. This hack is not endorsed by dermatologists. Oh, and no you don't say that. Yeah. Come on. on. <laughs> well, what do you do? It's not stopping people from trying it out and posting their results. You can check them out on uh, well, what what do you do? This kid's 17. Talking about skin. You can buy Coca-Cola and Dove soap, and it's got understand. more than eight million you views. Just, you, you, instead of running it under water, you run it on and What do you do? Maybe it's like the oil. I love the idea that in. people will just try stuff they saw on the internet. It, it will thin the herd in the yeah. big picture. We're just talking about pop and soap, Larry. You said you like <laughs> rub it on like lotion, so you can. But you like you wet the soap with the pop, and then you put a. Well, it might be liquid soap. <laughs> Yeah. Or you, guys, you guys just work it out. <laughs> yeah. There. Yeah. Hey, Go I'm, to a pharmacist. I'm looking for anything. Yeah. Like, Let's get a close up of each of us and no, we'll you know, rub it on. I do that, you, it's we'll like, see. We'll do just it. put a timer yes. on. Well, you're going to win that battle mm. against me. I hate to tell you. Could you imagine if these two had a show together? <laughs> it would be the easiest show to produce of all time. If I were the producer, I'd give them one topic <laughs> right. and just and just keep going in the ears. Did you think of this? Did, and just have them keep yep. going. You're kind right. of, I'm kind of offended you're lumping me in with uh, <laughs> with her. <laughs> with making, with making <laughs> fun of I, I wasn't I, always make yeah, fun of on the show. I didn't see the similarity six months ago, but let me tell you something. <laughs> but she tends to morph into who she's spending time with. She was becoming Paul Conrad for a very long time, too. She so, was saying you know, Waka I don't know. Well, in the yeah. summer, I can't because he's not here. Yeah, I spent right. time with him. But. All right, number two, let's talk about man spa drills. Yeah. Espadrilles for men. There you go. Oh. The slip-on shoes are really popular right now. It's not surprising. The look says, I'm relaxed. I'm casual. I don't need socks. I don't mind that. They're not the best if you've got wide feet, though. Espadrilles tend to run a little narrow. Not much arch support, either, yeah, if you have, if you have falling yeah. arches. Any opinions? No. Um, uh, I wouldn't wear it. No, you know what? No. Anything that covers the foot, for the most part, I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. Anything that makes me look like my father-in-law, <laughs> I do have a problem with <laughs> Or a ballet dancer <laughs> who's smoking weed. <laughs> very specific. <laughs> But doesn't that very specific. Yeah. Yeah. It looks that like some be hippie there. ballet dancer burnout. Well, yeah. that might be a good look for you to try. <laughs> this is be. a little buttoned up and weird with these cutoff yeah. sleeves. Try something new. I like you right. something. <laughs> Espadrilles tomorrow. He smoked something when he was cutting that sleeve off. <laughs> All right, right Lawrence. Lawrence. Number one, espadrilles are nice, but nothing beats a nice pair of boots. Here's a favorite from Reno911. <laughs> <911. laughs> Sorry, my brakes are getting squirrely on me. Oh, I've had some boots on layaway here at uh, Zapateria La Bailarina. For <laughs> Western fashions here in Reno, you really can't beat Zapateria La Bailarina. Well, you can, but not at these prices, really. Let's do it. It's go time. <laughs> Genuine ostrich. Three payments. Oh! Wait, what? I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. Oh! <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's such a good show. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> How in the heck? Oh, oh that's great. That's a nine at nine. Sorry, my brakes are getting squirrely on me. <laughs> It's the nine at nine.